Oh, don't look now. Possible problems for the new Triumph program. Hey, everybody. Walty Wanderers, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard-hitting pull. No punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Who's ready to do a little moto whistle below it? Whew. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are, are doing great. We're going to read between the lines. And we're going to look between the ruts. We're going to hear from some of you guys, the fans who really matter, uh, what's going on right now. But the realities are this, friends. We're not going to tap dance around the elephant in the room at this channel. Our job is to talk about the hard to talk about things that most people have thought about but afraid to say on the internet because everybody's in somebody else's pockets. It's insane. We really need to drain the moto swamp. It's become Wall Street and politically driven mainstream, lamestream moto media is now basically directing this sport however they see fit. But the realities are we've watered it down. It's not the cool, hardcore, underground sport it used to be. No, they want to take it to electric bikes, mainstream football playoffs, you name it. It ain't gonna work. I don't care what you do. Moto will never, ever, ever be safe. Anybody that's thrown, and most of you watching, I know if not all, has risked their lives. And many of us have the scars to prove it and possibly even lost a friend or two. It's the realities, friends. So we're not tap dancing around this thing. But today we're going to unpackage a good one. We asked it on the Walty Waters community page of the YouTube channel will triumph even win not a championship a race can they win a race in 2024 and we got a lot to unpackage because we know our good friend joey savacci he wants to step down to the 250 class he doesn't want to ride that 450 separate video today we're going to talk about the percentage of likelihood the Triumph can even win a race this year. And, and you know, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But the realities are this, friends. We're going to take a look at some of your comments today. We're going to take a lap around the track in the comments. We're going to go ahead and have a little fun here because that's what this channel is all about. Everything's so serious out there. But a lot of good stories to unpackage leading up to the best race in moto, which is Anaheim 1. I think Anaheim 1 eclipses. Any playoff rounds? I think Anaheim won, short of the Vegas finale, which is still a disaster how they moved that thing to Utah. Utah, the most boring place on earth if you're a Moto fan. Now, for other things, I'm sure it's great. But when it comes to Moto, that is the worst place to wrap up the dangerous, most dangerous sport in the world and the coolest sport in the world to send it to one of the most boring places in the world when it comes to to this stuff. Moto is a chance for us. I don't care. I'm a clean cut guy. I've, I've, I've always been a clean cut guy. I still got that rebel in me. And I know many of you, I'm trying to be a good dude, right? But the thing is, is when we twist throttle, what happens? I don't care who you are. Your alter ego comes out. Look at our boy Vince Freeze. That's what happens to him. He's pretty, pretty basic guy, you know. Hi, my name's Vince Freeze, and I just like to race. You put him behind. You, as soon as he gets his helmet on, and he's on the racetrack, the dude's torpedo te goes to, to torpedoing fools left and right. So this is the realities. Now we're not going to sugarcoat it. We're going to give it to you. We're going to give it to you straight, and we're going to talk about the things that most of the industry won't touch until maybe this video trends enough that they're forced to. That so if you if you're in the comments, jump in. Blast some comments, give the video a like, share it, whatever you could do. Because the realities are this. You guys are helping shows like this force them to cover these topics that they won't touch because they can't. But everybody has their price. If they see a topic trending, they're going to jump on and start reporting about it. We are forward thinking, critical thinking, getting ahead of the curve here at this channel. And a lot of this stuff starts to trend. And the next thing you know, they're forced to report on it on their lamestream media way, of course. But the realities are, that's just the waters we're now swimming in. Shark infested. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Walty Wanders community page of the YouTube channel. If you're new, subscribe, get involved with the polling. You never know when your comments might be featured here on the show. And we asked, will Triumph even win one race this year? 
in their debut. They should. They've thrown every resource at this thing. The bike looks like it has all kinds of great new technology, and it's got even Ricky on board. They should win, right? We should be talking championship. We're going to go easy on them and ask, can they win a race? So without further ado, let's jump over to the Walty Waters community page of the channel, see what you guys are saying. Then we'll meet back here and wrap this one up. Let's get started. All right, you hard-hitting race fans, buckle up and strap in for another barn burner. When asked on the Walty Wanderers community page of the YouTube channel, will the all-new Triumph Dirt Bike win a race in its 2024 debut? 16% of you said, yup, that thing's going to win. But 84% of you said, nope, no win here. Well, let's dig a little deeper and take a lap around the comments. First out of the starting gate, our boy Yabba Dabba Doo comes in with, they'll be lucky to be in the night show. Ouch, that's harsh. Let's keep reading. Our next rider up comes flying into the first corner, full of whiskey throttle, right on Riggin writes, put Vince on that biznatch. Oh, there you go. Maybe that would actually be a good move. Nice comment. Let's keep going. Oh, don't look now. YZ ETC comes around the first corner, hits the triple with his open face and throws a no. -ho -ho. Wait, does the LCQ count? Next up, Boone's Slot Car Garage goes through the whoop section, feet off the pegs with the only way I see the Ricky special win in a race this year is if the ground opens up after the first corner and swallows the field. Ouch. Mike Hudge comes flying into the rhythm section after almost being cross jumped by Vince Freeze with Absolutely not. No chance. Going to come up four feet short on the triple with a huge no sunshine panic rev. Glay Hut 93 comes across the finish line jump with maybe if Jet or Deegan rides it. And there you go. Thanks to everybody who left a comment. Please feel free to jump in and read the rest. Now let's get back to the studio where we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. And there you go. Ricky, what happened? You're Ricky Carmichael, the greatest of all time, the GOAT. You're, you've got little to no chance of the fans thinking your bike, even with you involved, is even winning a race. Insane. Insanity. But the realities are this. I don't know about you guys, but I do because I've been around for a while. Back in the day. Walty always likes to talk about back in the day. Because back in the day when this was hard hitting, you could be yourself, have all kinds of personality. It wasn't controlled by main. Well, it, we had Wall Street and politics, but not nearly at the levels are that they are now. We will be draining the swamp at some point, guaranteed, because we need to get this thing back to its heyday. If it's not broke, don't try to fix it. And they're trying to not only fix it, they're trying to make it woke. Everything is, though. So, I mean, welcome to the brave new world, right? If it's not for the crisis, we're probably not talking. But this was the progression. We just accelerated it. But the reality is this, friends. Even KTM, I, it was the four big Japanese brands forever, right? Forever, pretty much. Then KTM was really the first bike to make a play in the modern era. And it took a long time for that bike to ever see a win. And hired Jeremy McGrath, the king of Supercross, to try to breathe some life into KTM, and that all went sideways. So this is a really hard venture. Now, because of the technology, and you got Takati coming in, you got Beta coming in, you got Triumph coming in, we're getting a little bit saturated out there. Now, the good thing, I, I would rather report on a new manufacturer, even with Ricky involved, and I would much prefer Ricky kind of giving some real talk, but he seems so endorsed. He seems so paid off. He seems so sold out. He seems so manufactured and that is fine you would do it i would do it too but i would probably be a little more transparent about it and here's why because ricky has his ride off into the sunset fortune already made he can come in and give some real talk yeah you, you know they hired me i'm endorsing the brand i like the bike but you know i'm a paid i'm a paid ambassador for these guys and obviously if somebody else wanted to pay me more i'd have jumped on that shit. give us some straight talk the reality is this, the cat is now out of the bag. You guys, the people that matter. I've revealed it here today. It's not me spinning narratives. It's me giving real talk and, and, and data, showing you guys people are not saying that this bike is going to win a race this year. Now, it wouldn't surprise any of us if it did. It should. It should. It should be the flip-flop. It should be the majority of us. Yes, 
this bike should win. It's got technology. It's got Ricky. It's got, it's capable of winning. And it certainly is. But I think for a lot of us, most of us click the no button only because we don't like, we know what's attached to Triumph and Ricky is potentially politics and Wall Street. And for that reason, that's why you guys, I believe, are giving a lot of of pushback. It's not because of channels like this that are just revealing and exposing maybe some of the dirty little dirty side of moto. It's the fact that you guys, that's just the way you feel and you have the right to feel that way. It's too bad other mainstream media, ex-riders, current riders can't talk about. There's a few out there. Jason Anderson, big shout out to that guy. He continues to to give me shout outs on Instagram constantly. you know, basically agreeing with what I'm saying. And he is riding at a high level, a factory guy, and he's not afraid. He's not a media butterfly. He's not selling out. He's putting his morals before his pocketbook. And final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy, wants to see you not only win on the track, off the track. Understand the waters you're swimming in now. Shark infested triumph. Welcome to the swimming pool. It's not looking good. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this. It's not looking good, bro. I mean, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. We love you, dude. You're the GOAT. Greatest of all time. We're, we're all about you, dude. You had a great career, but you've clearly sold out just a little bit. And for that reason, I believe a lot of people are going to give you some pushback and potentially cheer against the bike. Not necessarily you, but probably, but mainly against the bike. In the meantime, Walty will be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve appreciate the content i want to humbly ask you to give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there along with links to channels i've appeared on i think you might enjoy if you enjoyed this video you're gonna love the next video and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience as always thank you for your time don't go over the bars i'll see you on the next video